Hey, it's Mr. Johns, and welcome to this first episode of Forza Motorsport. Forza Motorsport. Forza Motorsport. I uh, purchased the premium pack, which gives you five days early access. The game launches uh, October 10th, but today is the 5th, and I've been waiting all day. In fact, I bought this uh, steering wheel, professional racing steering wheel and gas pedal system, uh, pretty much just for racing sims. And I uh, am in between either, sorry, I'm thinking, processing, and realizing I'm kind of laggy right now. So it is optimizing the shaders. So that is taking a lot of my CPU power I'm hoping I'm not going to need a new computer <laughs> to run um, this game, but it, it might be time. So I am in between games with racing. Um, playing Forza Horizon 5 pretty heavily a couple years ago when it came out and was super excited, super into it. And it is the top arcade racing game out there. And then I purchased... Um, I see it Corsa... Corsa something competition <laughs> uh it's the top racing simulator out there and it is um very difficult so i think i was almost last place every time i raced and that is the way it is you have to it's a serious thing like you have to learn how to drive a race car um professional drivers professional race car drivers use it to practice so you know, you would think uh, I'm a driver's ed instructor, lots of years of driving experience, drive a fast car, have driven um, some racing cars. You would think I'd pick it up quickly. It's very challenging. So I'm looking for a happy medium, and I'm thinking Forza Motorsport just may be the thing, the ticket. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So it was $100 with the premium pack. And it gets me a bunch of other things, some, some tracks, some cars, some stuff. So, and the early access. So, super excited about that. Uh, so, I hope it's good. Um, really don't know. But um, this is my first glance. And I thought, that, I thought I would share that with you. Just because I'm excited. I wanted to share that excitement with you. Yes. Okay. So, we finally get a little video here of the game but i i need to set up my controller yeah i probably shouldn't be seeing any of this i need to do my controllers my steering wheel so graphics are gorgeous lots of reflection and sunlight and really shiny paint on the cars got your mercedes there and it uh, looks like a bugatti in the middle This is supposed to be a car for car lovers. A game, sorry. This is supposed to be a game for car lovers and not just drivers and racers. So it's got like the muscle cars, the classics, the the old cars from the old racing days at Le Mans and um, different series. So it's your chance to race a bunch of different styles of car and cars. And that's why... I mean, this video is pretty pretty exciting to watch. I mean, makes my the hair on my arms are standing up. It's like yes. So I like this style of game because I want to race different kinds of races. I don't want to race just rally racing, for example, or just GT three races, for example. Or just Formula One. There's games that are just Formula One cars. Well, um, if you love cars in general, you don't want to be stuck with just one style of car. So, all right, we're letting this thing um, load. The first time is going to be slow for sure. Um, and all I need to do is pretty much set up my wheel and my pedals, and, and I'll do a practice run or something. Just want to see how it how it handles and how it looks. This is so I'm hope I'm hoping it's not going to just turn it over to me. I think it will. That's what. Um, yeah, it's going to. I knew it. I knew it. And I'm, I'm, 
Let me see if I can even do anything. Uh, I am steering. I I have not hooked up my. That is me turning. And yep, yeah, okay. And whoops, paying attention. <laughs> I'm just. I guess it just it it knew what I'm using. So, I by the way, I am not a in car. Um, I'm not an in car. That's what I'm talking about right there. Tab. I am not an in car driver. I like to be right here. It's an advantage because you can see more of the track, but it's not realistic. But I don't really care. It's, whoops, okay. But it's going to be a balance between realism and fun. And I think that was the problem. Horizon, uh, Horizon 5 is just fun. And the Aceto game was... Come on now. Get out of my way. I'm in a, uh, the new E-Ray Corvette electric. Um, and the sim game was uh, too serious. So I'm hoping this is going to be a mix. And so far, I'd say it's you know more on the arcade side for sure. Like this, that kind of cornering right there, I would have crashed in Aceto. So, um, because you can't drive, oh, like this on the, in a supercar, you can't go through grass without spinning out uh, or causing some problems. So you've got to be perfect. So, you know, we'll see. This is uh, Forza, and they make Horizon Five, the arcade game. So. Um, I expect it to be a little more on the arcade side. Okay, so this is exactly what I was hoping for today. It was just a little bit of a little bit of warm up, um, and just to see if my machine can handle um, recording the race while I'm playing the race. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I did put it on manual shifting. Because I want that control. Not sure if I should have that much control, but uh, it definitely helps. So you have, you have to watch your uh, RPMs or listen to the engine. Whoa, that's not good. Oh, that was some laggy right there. So, yeah, it's blurry. I don't know. It's blurry. And my machine may not be able to handle it. Uh, I need to change the settings maybe, but man, look at that. It's blurry. Okay, so downshift into a corner, and then full throttle, upshift, and go. Whoa, except for that's a tight corner, so I'm going to stay in that gear. Ooh, off the track. I'm not going to rewind. I'm going to keep on going, but woo. Oh, that's okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to, oh, I'm going to have to play with the, uh, graphics just to see what's going on with the quality here um, it's not great I mean my car I'm looking at my car shift my car looks pretty clear but the uh, other cars are blurry let's see I'm gonna downshift probably here control is good um, I'll learn to not go so fast into corners eventually but yeah I'm not spinning out in a Aceto, Corsa, Corsica, Corsa, whatever. ACC is what we call it. Um, woo! I couldn't drive like this. I would be off the track. So it's good. It's a, it's a, I'd say it's a, it's a good mix for sure. Uh, six gear. I can get up into seventh, it looks like, on the long straightaways. Um, and then have to downshift here. See if I can keep some speed up. I don't want to go too slow. Maybe downshift to fifth. Give me some uh, some torque. Okay, that's a tight corner. I don't know these tracks either, so just going off that um, the guide. I don't really see anything that pops up to tell you how sharp the corner is. I mean, I think the color of the the line tells you a little bit. Um, 
I'm trying to figure that out. Whoa. Downshift into fourth. Woo-wee. Okay. Uh, 12th out of 24th. So I'm definitely not in first place, but that's okay. Just trying to finish the race. Great race. Terrific driving. All right. Welcome to Forza. Completed my first race. Even though I didn't race the whole race, that was just an intro. And I think that's fair. You get to drive a practice lap and then you get to drive the last part of a race. And so it's a good little intro to see if you can handle it and see if your machine is set up properly. So it does look like I need to, maybe I should run that benchmark test that I skipped over. <laughs> uh, probably should go back and do that. So it is, all right, ready to begin your motorsport journey. Yeah, basically, it's your it's a career, and you start off. and I'm curious to see where you start, what you start with. You can't start with that kind of car. Okay, here I am. So driver customization, body. Oh, it's, is that female and male? That's what it looks like. I guess you can hardly tell on those. Okay. All right. Well, different colors. This stuff doesn't really matter. But to me, I just never really care. But something jumps out at me. I'll grab it. Let's just see if something's cool. I like those flames. So let's let's get in. So a couple things I need to do. Oh, all right. Yes, it is. Yeah, it already speaks to me. No, go away. I mean, those are other, those are OK cars, but hello. It's a 2018 GT. Let's do that thing. Let's go. Select. Enter. I have to hit enter. Okay. Yes, I know. All right. So a little intro about the car. It is rear wheel drive, and that might have been a mistake on my part. They're a little harder to control, for sure. Um, I'm not sure about the... I'm not sure about the other cars, but front wheel drive cars are easier to drive. So, but they gave me that 2018 Mustang. So I can't say no to that. So I even like the color. Oh boy. Okay. So all kinds of other choices. Higher values make AI appointments to achieve faster lap times through more precise gas braking and cornering practice place sorry first second or third to collect bonuses so uh what does this mean up here what's that mean faster i can't change any of that i think it's down here maybe oh no it changed just a little slow so there's the harder they are you get more of a bonus i think probably to start off with i need to start with them being slow Okay, so club rules, sport rules, or expert. Okay, so with club rules, you've got cosmetic damage only. Rewind is on and limited penalties. This one, the difference is uh, moderate penalties and simulated fuel and tires. So that means you can run out of gas and your tires can go fl bald, go flat, go bad. Not flat, but um, go smooth. Oh, so it's basically telling me, hey, I got, because I bought the premier edition, I got uh, these cars. There's a Chevy Camaro. There's the Corvette Stingray. Yes, that's a gorgeous car. A Mercedes AMG. That's a classic. It's fast. And then, oh, I got some uh, special racing suit with gold shine pattern. So I probably should switch to that. Oh, also have that one. Don't like it as much. Purple and orange. And that one, purple and black. And that one, white. And that one, black with gold shine pattern. I thought I already got that one. And a Volkswagen. And a Toyota Supra. And the Stingray Coupe. And the BMW M4. And the Porsche, oh yeah, 911 Carrera S. And 500,000 credits. And the 2018 Subaru. And the 2017 Vauxhall. And the 2014 Ford AMD Tuning Focus. And, oh, and the 2018 Porsche. Look at that. Oh, dude, that is 
gorgeous. Uh, the 1990 Oldsmobile. Okay, that's like the retro um, racer. Uh, the, ooh, 18 Acura NSX GT3. Oh, yeah, that's nice too. Woo, 2018 Audi. That's the R8 LMS GT3. Ooh, look at that. 1974 BRM. That's an old classic, right? So got to race some of the classics. 2018 Volkswagen Experian Racing Golf GTI. Okay. I love that. So that's some cool stuff. So uh, I'll, I'm going to go work on that. And uh, when I'm ready, I'll, I'm going to start recording some, some races in my career. So there's an update. Forza Motorsport. Early release today, October 5th, 2023. And I can't wait to get everything fine-tuned so I can get out there and race. I'll catch you next time. For now, Mr. Johns is out.